Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today is an exciting day mainly because of two major programs that have been released and the first one is uh, iClone 8.2 and Character Creator 4.2. <laughs> I've been waiting for this, I saw a video that uh, they had shared online about the upcoming dynamic wrinkles it's incredible what they've added. I've already installed this and I'm going to walk you through how to find it and install it as well. Uh, man, this is an awesome, awesome day because uh, now we get to really to create really, really awesome, like realistic and uh, expressive characters using uh, Character Creator 4, right? And then I'm taking them to iClone 8.2 and animating them. So you need these two programs to work together and to be able to get the best results out of it all so thank you so much again for joining me today uh let's dive in so i wanted to go through real quick to show you just uh, some of the highlights and i'll follow up with a, a tutorial on some of these uh, awesome awesome features and i want to do some character demos so you can see how these things can actually be applied to other models it's not just a uh, supported by uh, cc3 plus models your models can also be brought in converted to cc3 plus and then you can use the, the dynamic wrinkles but the first and foremost are the two features look at constraints and dynamic wrinkles which is an awesome addition so uh, every now and then i try to do like uh, live in uh, videos using metahumans one of the challenges that i encounter in the unreal engine is uh, this look at constraint right and uh, it, it we we had it in icon for a while right but it had it didn't have the same level of a uh, dynamic way of like when you move it and things would actually like wrinkle maps and things would happen so we didn't even have wrinkle maps in uh, iClone and also in uh, character creator but now we do and this is uh, just came out uh, yesterday i believe and you get uh, the iClone 8.2 version by going to your hub your religion hub now the hub has changed also if you have an older hub, it doesn't look like this. So the way you're going to find it, you're going to go to your updates over here and it will show up as one of the updates and then proceed to install it. And once it's ready, you'll be able to see the update here, 8.2 and 4.2. So I still have my 7.93 version of iClone and also the 3.4 version because there's some other projects that are, I'm still using in those particular programs. But here, there are, these two versions have in like advanced immensely so that's why i highly highly recommend that you update to iclone 8.2 and character creator 4.2 and uh, so that is how you get it once you've installed it then you're going to have access to it and just go ahead and run it but uh, again if we scroll down here you can see that uh, even the puppeteering is going to affect the wrinkle maps you'll be able to see them as you're doing this and also if you use the iphone 10 uh, even maybe higher you'll be able to actually see the simulation of those wrinkle maps coming up so iClone is pretty powerful guys I, this is my favorite animation program I used to animate inside of motion builder and I still do to some extent when I'm editing mockup but more and more often now I'm using iClone for all my animations and also for editing motion capture and mainly because I have this array of plugins that uh, work with uh, iClone the, for example perception neuron Xsense, facewear uh, you name it <laughs> they even have rococo you know like plugins that go with it and unreal engine so this is amazing i love sending my creations from iclone all the way to the unreal engine and i've done several tutorials on that so i i mean the the day i found iclone and character creator for i think my life as a an animator changed and also as a storyteller as a filmmaker because now i can create like really awesome characters that can tell my stories i can use my stories and my i can use to tell my stories in additions like this you know so this particular feature you know kids are not going to have wrinkle maps per se right but when you're t talking about characters well i guess kids do have wrinkle maps but wrinkle maps do uh, occur mainly in adults and uh, so when you have like a, a an older character that is being you want to be expressive this is what you want to use and then so the idea again is to create the characters in character creator 4.2 
using uh, and then add, adding on the dynamic wrinkles. And there's a whole pack that they've created that not only serves for realistic characters, but also for cartoony characters. You can literally add uh, wrinkle maps on your cartoon characters, which is amazing. But look at that. You know, this is looking more and more realistic. And we've been relying on uh, metahumans for realism, but I think character creator has greatly, greatly improved. And you can see, so it's important also for your lighting, because if you just have flat lighting, you won't get the realism. But when you have like beautiful lighting, you can see the effect that it has on uh, the appearance. It's, it looks amazing. So I can't wait again to share with you some more in-depth tutorials of this on how I'm using it in my short films. But they have amazing additions that uh, make it easier for you to adjust the wrinkle maps. So, so one thing that I've noticed in the metahumans, and maybe it will change down the road, but you don't have like full control over the wrinkle maps, right? They are there, they're there. <laughs> you can't really adjust them. I mean, you can go in the uh, character creator, the metahuman creator online and, uh, and you know adjust your model and try to refine it. But after the fact, once you take it to the Unreal Engine, you don't have a, as much control as what the, I see here in Character Creator 4, 4.2. So it's extremely dynamic. You can see that not only do you get wrinkle maps on the forehead, but you also have around the lips, the mouth, the neck. It's it's <laughs> awesome, <laughs> simply awesome. And it works, You're gonna be, you'll be able to export this to the Unreal Engine, to Unity and Blender. And they have a new uh, like plug. There's a, a whole pack that they've created that has the auto setup that enables you to take the models and their auto setup in character in a uh, Unreal Engine, in Unity, and also in Blender. But well, that's really neat. And uh, so there's uh, this pack, the one that I was telling you about. It has the expansion for dynamic crinkle map. So if we go over here and check it out, you can see the different levels. Uh, the shallow uniform, shallow varied deeply all the way down, and you can see the impact of that. Yeah, the and they, I think the what's really cool is that it's coming from like scanned models, like live actors, and that's why they look really, really awesome, especially when you're animating them. And it has like a level of detailing that is amazing. I've not seen this level of uh, wrinkle map control in any other program, honestly. Maybe there's one that I don't know about, you guys can tell me, but uh, this is amazing. And you can see the results here around the, the mouth, around the eyes. It's It's really, really, really awesome. So anyway, guys, I highly, highly recommend that you check it out. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you as always to all my uh, the support uh, supporters <laughs> in the Patreon. Thank you so much for my Patreon supporters. And uh, thank you for the encouraging comments that you share with me. Um, I always try to read my comments so that I can share more. I can answer them in some of the questions that uh, I, like, I post over here. I answer them in uh, the video that I share. Thank you. And as always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. May we continue to use these tools to tell our stories. That's the ultimate goal for us as storytellers to use these to make our stories convincing, whether it's realistic characters or cartoony characters. All right, thank you so much again. Today we're talking about the release of uh, iClone 8.2 and also the release of Character Creator 4.2. So see you next time. And uh, please wait, if you create something cool, please do please share it. I would love to see more what you guys are using Character Creator and iClone. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, there are some links in the uh, description of this video. If you need to order iClone or Character Creator, click on those. Thank you so much again. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> See you next time.